Hey, there you go. <laughs> there it is, right? Twin turf skis. How'd I do it? All right, so before I painted the motor, I had to make sure that I made both valve covers perfectly symmetrical. Mounting, I had mounted the one side, but not the other side. I was going to wait till I got the engine out, and now that it's built, I wanted to do the mock-up and get it all squared away so I can do the bodywork off the engine. But I can paint the engine, put it in, and get all that stuff going while I'm doing the bodywork on those and paint those separately, in case you're wondering what I'm doing here. All right, hope you like it. And what you think about my channel? Tell me what you like and what you don't like. Tell me what you want to see more of. All right, so there the valve covers are mocked up. These all be welding up this week. No big dealio, body work them. And uh, yeah, these are my custom valve covers that I made. They're nice and squared up, nice and leveled across. Bing bong, nice little setup. I'm very happy with them, square across the front. And hopefully we'll be installing the motor this weekend. I should be able to paint it tomorrow the next day. And then let it dry for a few days and install it on Saturday. Let's see what we get done. All right, so now comes the boring part of scuffing every single inch of this. Paint adheres to chemical adhesion and mechanical adhesion. Chemical adhesion are like the hardeners and the adhesion promoters and stuff like that. And the mechanical adhesion are the little scratches from sandpaper or scuff pads or grinders or whatever you use to make actual scratches in a surface. All right, so this side's taped off. I gotta cut it out still. So if you see, there's a little edge there. Now you run your laser right along that edge. All right, so the primer that I use is an epoxy primer. I use it for any kind of bare metal. It just kind of bites in really nicely. I like it. It's just tougher than nails. It's, uh, I think it's AIP 302. I get it from Sherman Williams. It's their kind of industrial line stuff. And, uh, I love it. It's uh four parts, uh, primer, two parts hardener, and then, uh, uh, one part reducer or two parts reducer, one part hardener, whatever it is. But, and then, uh, shooting the candy, you know, you want to do all your hard to reach places like everything else I told you about. You want to shoot all your hard to reach places first. You make sure you get coverage in there. And then you can spray the rest of it and lay, lay a nice smooth pattern. Now with candy, you've got the base coat, which is the blue that I'm spraying right here. Then after you do that, then you've got to spray your, your mid coat, which is your, your candy blue. It's kind of like a semi-transparent blue. And I've already got this mixed up to match a car. I mix it all up at one time to paint all of the parts. And then I put two coats of clear on it. Two coats of clear makes it nice and durable. You just really want to do that. So this light that I'm using, I use it all the time. It, it's uh, it's by Astro, I think. I'll put a link in the description. It helps me to see any kind of spots that don't have full coverage and or that the clear isn't quite perfect on. It's, it's extremely useful if you're not painting in a really, really bright environment. All right, so there it is. It matches the car. Boop, you can't see it right now because it's, uh, it's dark out, but man, this thing is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh, my nephew doesn't wear hats. The best he's, supporter he's of your channel. But I have these two hats. <laughs> Woo! Which one do you want? The black or the gray? You know I gotta go all black. There you go, man. Thank you, sir. I keep forgetting, man. I'm, I'm extremely forgetful, man. This is how we do it. Cha la 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 Look at that party, motherfucker. Woo! So, I'm not trying to be funny, but how, how do you propose we how do you propose that we fix those scratches and paint just those scratches without painting the panel? Hey, spoiler alert, you have to take the torque converter and mount it into the transmission and then mount the transmission to the motor and then bolt the, the torque converter to the flywheel. That's the only way you'll get a 4L80 in. Push, it forward. push the push the motor forward. Okay, I just stopped it now. Yeah, push the... And do a stand on it. 
Well, we have this on this. Yeah. I think that I can kind of finagle it there. Okay. Now it's past the core support, right? Just a little bit. Jeez. Okay, now let it down a little bit. Hold on. Okay, let it down some more. Push it in. Here you go, Natalie. Hold on. Ah. All right. You got a cross number in there? No, not in the back one. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Want it up more or you want it down more? Put it down just a little bit. And that's too much. Uh. Holy shit. There you go. Hey, let's get the hood while we're here. Yeah, we flew all the way, landed in the mall. I got it marked too. Uh. Alright, so we're going backwards. I think your hood cable is laying down here. What's that? My uh, hood cable. My hood, my hood cable? Cable. Oh. Yeah. You don't Fucking amazing, bro. I got all the send that to me, man. I got a lot of them for you. Oh, send it to the fucking group, man, dude. That's a I, fucking. I got you guys going to the left, going to the right. Yeah, it's in there. God damn, that's so nice, man. Another hurdle done. Oh man, show, show send that, send that to the group, man. Let Mike see that motherfucker. That thing is, so, dude. Uh -huh. That's a that's next level picture right there, man. All right, we got the turbies on there. The turbskis. There we go. Two turbskis.